Welcome on into today's vlog, guys. Um, we're doing some some weird stuff today. Uh, we are uh, currently destroying Garrett's little Star Destroyer thingy, so that we may again change up the uh, amazing Venator, and uh, you know, just just mess with it more. Because you know, why not? All right, we're gonna start by moving Palpatine's office um, and into Snoke's throne room. Yes, yeah, good goodbye, Snoke piece of throne room and uh we're gonna move these guys and uh switch it up all right there's my meager attempt at a bridge and then we'll see what else happens with so it. overall it went rather well we made a uh palpatine's office and you can't really see it and i guess i'll show it to you later when garrett's done playing with it clearly he's having some fun over there but uh i think it looks really good and then over here we have made some very fun stuff in the front of the ship we have I've made the bridge, so you can see all the little clone commanders there. Uh, if they have clone faces, then they're definitely, definitely Republic clone officers. Definitely not Imperial officers, right? Anyway, so they're sitting there, and we've got the uh, famous catwalk, and we actually have a hologram. This is not a Lego hologram, but I happened upon it somehow. Someone gave it to me, I think. Uh, I still use it. I think it might be from Halo or something. Anyway, you could take your Captain Rex minifigure or any other minifigure you want you can put some jedi on the bridge or something uh but it looks absolutely amazing you know if we want to put let's put cody on here too because you know that's cool so there you go we got cody and rex you know taking orders and then i also did a lot of greebling stuff so that's real nice it makes this thing look so much nicer unfortunately you can't have these guys in there with the thing you know, open, and you also can't have that hologram still there. You gotta move that. This is why this little thing exists right here. Uh, but anyway, if you look at it from, you know, down low, with all that greebling, it looks very nice. This is just a little ship Garrett made, and I think it's supposed to be a Republic cruiser, but I'm not sure. But I'll let you know what happens with the best. So, ladies and gentlemen, Venators are supposed to be like ship carriers. It's basically the aircraft carrier of Star Wars, right? Uh, so, what better thing to do than have this Venator uh, carry ships? So, for instance, uh, we have this little wall that can just pop off. Very nice. And I've included my Republic gunship microfighter uh, in this uh, Venator. So, you can actually, uh, you have to fold up the guns. But once, once you unfold them, you can actually take this little Republic gunship microfighter and fly it out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just like it's a ship, you know, in Star Wars in the show that's, you know, going out into battle or something. Uh, and there's really nothing else in there. It's just space for this ship. I also have a cute little turret cannon thing because I like the ability for this ship to defend itself. And I have a little gonk port and some crates on this side, which is nice. Uh, and then it all shuts in there real nicely. And then on the other side, um, uh, I have another little turret thing because it's so cute, so cute, pew pew. But I also have a little area for the legendary clone turbo tank. Uh, this bad boy um, can go in there and just kind of chill. So now you have a, a clone turbo tank microfighter and a Republic gunship microfighter all contained inside the Venator. And uh, as for the back, I just left the little escape pod. I think it's a really really cute escape pod and i don't know why me or anyone else would change it so that's my thoughts on that um uh, but yeah these turrets barely fit but they do fit which is just great anyway uh i think that's about it well, i hope you enjoyed this nice look into the uh modifications i did on the venator cruiser uh it is quite the beautiful uh thing and i was glad i was able to spice it up a little bit with some greebling and uh all the major modifications i did uh if you liked the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new uh i do things like this uh quite a lot and uh can't wait for the next one so thank you guys and i will see you in the next one peace out captain rex execute order 66